had the good sense to wait for the game to occur, even with the delay, um, so that um, we could, I could enjoy the, the Ravens, and um, that means I have to root for the Steelers sometime soon. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but I'm working on it. Let us begin. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. We gather today to witness to the resurrection of our Lord and in celebration of the life of John Anthony Martin. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We were baptized in Christ Jesus. We were baptized into his death. We were buried before with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For we, we have been united with Christ in a death like his. We will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whenever we live or whether we die, we are the Lord. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we bless you for the great company of all those who have kept the faith, finished their race, and who now rest from their labor. We praise you for those dear to us we name in our hearts before you. Especially we thank you for John, whom you have received into your presence. Help us to believe where we have not seen, trusting you to lead us through our years. Bring us at last with all your saints and the joy of your home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. At this time we also remember those whom we have lost since our last reunion. Jeremiah Lassen, Grandma Athey, Grandma Brackville, Mary Archetta, and is there anyone I have forgotten? that we don't know about. And John's mother, did you lose your mother? No, brother. brother, cousin, nephew. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Brady. Neither. Oh, yes. My, my, uh, my brother's um, stepson. Okay. Thank Brady you. Weaver. Brady Weaver. So let's pause just for a moment of silence to remember all that. Sociology, which made both Martha, his mother, and Tony, his father, very proud of him. And yet, John enjoyed being with people the most, whether it was organizing the teenage Republicans, working at a front desk in a hotel, or in the hardware department at Sears. Being with John was always fun. I will never forget his hearty laugh. My most favorite memory of John is one of the most recent. He was able to join us at Disney World. If it moved, 
John went on the ride, laughing and screaming and enjoying every minute of it with us. In a serious moment, he expressed how much he appreciated being included in our family adventures and the visits Tony and Tammy made to Barbara and him in Long, South Carolina. No matter what he had or what he could do, he enjoyed being with us. I don't know how many people knew this or how many people he shared this with. But that was a side of John that was truly sincere and very heartfelt. I think his regrets were too difficult for him to express. Like many veterans, what you feel like after you have served, especially in combat, is often too difficult and too uncomfortable to talk about. He therefore put that away and left it hidden and instead celebrated being with all of us. Welcome home, John. Thank you for your service. We love you. Let us pray. Gracious God, eternal Father, you give us new and living hope in Christ Jesus. We thank you that by dying, Christ has destroyed the power of death, and by rising from the grave, opened the way to eternal life. Help us to know that because he lives, we shall live also, and that neither death nor life, nor things present nor things to come, shall be able to separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Almighty God, before the generations rise and pass away, we praise you for all your saints who, having lived this life in faith, now live eternally with you. Especially we thank you for your servant John, whose baptism is now complete in death. We praise you for the gift of his life, for all in him that was good and kind and just, for the grace you gave him that enabled him to serve you and his country faithfully. We thank you that for John, death is past and pain ended, and that he has now entered the joy you have prepared through Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Ensure in certain hope the resurrection of the 